Hey there, Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of March 13th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we get for you this week. Definitely a, a busy week. I've said it to like every single sign. Every sign has had something about uh, doing a lot of work or being very busy at this time. Uh, you start off with the Five of Hearts. This can represent jealousy at work. A lot of people have been also having this message as well. Um, something about uh, people being jealous at work or needing to be careful of people at work as well. Um, so definitely be careful of that. I'm also getting the message that a lot of you could be like... Um, <clears throat> thinking about your time away from home, especially if you have families, you could be thinking that, you know, maybe your job is, is requiring too much of time away from your family and things. So a lot of you could have those thoughts coming up, especially with this card, about wanting to spend more time with your family. So again, a lot of you might be planning changes, thinking about changes, you know, to uh, to make that happen. So uh, I would say those are good thoughts. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. Again, looking into the future and, and planning out for the future, um, pl planning new ways of doing things. Also, an, an amazing card for friends and, and friends coming in and being able to help you as well. Uh, so you could have some sort of uh, like friendships or people coming in to help you do things uh, that you need to do this week. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Um, it's so weird. I mean, uh, you know, several signs have had this card this week. I've switched decks several times, too, so I know it's not like a, a card that's just sticking in a spot or something. Um, so it must be like in the astrology, uh, something going on. This is a card of needing to be careful of what people tell you, number one. Uh, it, it can represent like bad advice coming to you and all this other stuff. I would say it's more or less a card of research. You know, if people tell you something and it sounds too good be, to be true, it probably is. Definitely no get-rich-quick schemes this week. You have the Queen of Spades as well. So definitely a bad time to, you know, have some friend who's like, oh, I just need, you know, $20,000 to start this business and you'll make a billion dollars. None of that this week. No no trusting that. And again, you just tell the person, you know what, I need to wait. I need to think about it. I can't do it right now. Um, there definitely seems to be like an urgency thing this week as well. I told, I, I believe it was Taurus, um, that... Um, I think they had the eight of spades, uh, very similar to the seven of spades. You know, when when that type of card comes up, sometimes people can push things on you, like salespeople even can be like, oh, you need to buy this car right now because it's not going to be here tomorrow. Um, if people are being pushy like that this week, again, it's probably something in the astrology. We have a bunch of stuff moving to Aries, um, like I said, and, and I think when that happens, sometimes people can be a little bit more pushy with their sales tactics and things. You know, just, just tell them no. Say, you know what, well, too bad, it won't be here then. And guess what, it'll probably still be there tomorrow, so don't worry about it. And, you know, but don't allow people to, like, push you into things at this time. Next, you have the Ten of Spades. Again, don't let people push you into things at this time. This can be a card of worrying about things that don't exist. Same with the Seven. Sevens represent internal fears that don't exist. So just be careful of, like, all that sort of stuff. Um, this can also represent... Um, some news that gets you upset that that really shouldn't in the first place so again be careful of news be careful of people be careful what people tell you because again it's probably not as bad as they say it is or you know you're not getting the whole story um, at this time next you have the joker being very busy again a couple other signs have had a lot of these cards of busyness being very busy having a lot to do um, so, uh, and this is a good card for being busy. It's also a card of mastery, um, becoming a master at something. So a lot of you could be working towards those types of things this week. Next, you have the four of clubs. Again, a bunch of signs have had this card this week, um, for whatever reason. Card of, uh, your thoughts stabilizing, uh, things becoming more stable for you. It's a, a very good card of balance. It's also a card of, um, feeling restless, feeling like you are, um, like, you know, just like you want to do more, like you're not doing enough. So you could have that restless type feeling. I actually think with the Four of Clubs, it's pushing you to, to a direction. That's the thing you have to remember with this card is it's not just restlessness for restlessness sake. It's like you feel restless and it's actually going to drive you uh, towards a new goal or, a, a, you know, a new business or a new relationship or something. So definitely use that restless energy to start something new. Uh, and finally, you have the Queen of Spades needing to commit to something, needing to just jump right into something. Again, if you have any business ideas or anything like that, definitely um, just get started and, um, you know, just jump in and, and kind of see where it goes. People are always afraid to, like, start businesses and things during these retrograde times. Um, and, and, you know, I really don't like telling people not to do something that they want to do during a retrograde. Um, you, you know, I've talked about this in the past. I've started a business during a retrograde period, um, which ended up working out extremely well for me. And again, I did it during a retrograde period and it, uh, it provided a lot of different things for me at that time that I needed, uh, and got me out of some 
challenging situations. So again, if I listened to the retrograde thing and I didn't start it, I would have been in a much worse position. So again, don't, you know, be careful of people who tell you not to do things. If you feel like you should do something, uh, do it at this time. But it looks like a great week, definitely. Just be careful of what people tell you, and you'll be fine. Uh, so thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.